the Heart Connection Podcast, lovelies. This is a place to connect, to inspire, to heal and to empower you to live a healthy, happy and purposeful life from your heart. I'm Pavlina Yerushkova, your host. I'm an intuitive health and life coach and I help women to connect to themselves, to step into their power and their purpose and to heal from within. I believe that all issues we are experiencing in life, physical, mental and emotional, arise from being disconnected from your heart, from your true self and I'm going to help you to open your mind, to connect to your heart and to heal from within. So let's dive right in. Hey lovelies, welcome to the very first episode of the Heart Connection podcast. I'm so excited to be here and I'm so grateful that you are here. This has been a very long time coming. My intention for the Heart Connection podcast is to speak openly from my heart to yours about life, personal growth, spirituality, healing and purpose. And I want to start today with a message that came through for you all today. <sighs> Open your heart and connect to your soul. Connect to your purpose. Remember who you are and why you came to this life. Your soul and your body are speaking to you and through you. You are here for a reason. You have chosen to be here at this time. You came here to learn, to grow and to experience joy and excitement, to live the human experience, to raise the vibration of the planet by being the truest expression of yourself. Come back, connect to your heart, come home. Release what no longer serves you and heal. Heal from within. Heal your mind and your body. Anything is possible. You are unlimited. You are one with everything. Connect to your heart and feel the love within. You can live a healthy, happy and vibrant life when you live from your heart. So this is a message I channeled today before I started recording the podcast and I thought it was really beautiful to share with you all. And what I wanted to talk to you all today about is why I called it the Heart Connection Podcast, why I started it and I wanted to share with you my own healing story and how I got here. I called it the Heart Connection Podcast because I believe that any kind of issues arise from being disconnected from your heart. And by heart, by your heart, I mean the heart is the seed of your inner voice, of your soul, of your intuition. And when we are disconnected from, from our intuition, our inner voice, whatever you want to call it, from our highest self, then we tend to live from, from the head, from the mind, from your subconscious. And often we will live unconsciously, which pretty much means that you are living from, from the past, from things that you learned in the past, from your old beliefs from your past experiences and you just living in the past, reliving the same day over and over again because ultimately we live most of our days from our subconscious, which is like 95% of the time we live on autopilot. There's the decisions we make, the things we do or don't do, things we say, how we feel. That's all based on our past experiences, our past traumas. And we just keep living the same life, the same day all over again. 
And you might have noticed that sometimes your relationships keep f repeating themselves or your experiences, you keep attracting the same experiences into your life, including your health issues, which is something that I focus on in my in my business. I maybe I could say as well that I mentioned in the intro that I'm an intuitive health and life coach. I'm I'm a certified in a voice facilitator and EFT therapist and an quantum healing practitioner and I trained as a health coach I read the Akashic records and so much more and my I feel my purpose is to help women to heal most of my clients struggle with chronic health issues and I help them to to heal from chronic health issues no matter what they are no matter if they're physical mental or emotional I went through a lot of health issues in my life as well and I managed to to heal them and that's something I want to talk about today I might mention my healing story as well how I got here but I want to say that in the beginning to start with that your health issues no matter what you are experiencing no matter what your issues are if you if you having for example one of my main health issues ever since I was a baby has been eczema and I've had many other health issues but if you're experiencing physical symptoms like eczema which is so uncomfortable on your skin in your body and you just can't overlook it you it it is calling you to give it attention because it's so itchy so uncomfortable uncomfortable so painful and it's the same with it doesn't matter what kind of health issues you're experiencing is the same with any other illnesses any other symptoms your body and your soul are speaking to you through your health issues and you just need to listen. That's all you need to do is to listen because like I said, all these health issues or any other issues are just whispers from your soul and your body, your soul is often speaking through your body. If you don't listen to it, it can speak in many different forms. But often if there's something pressing, if you're not living in alignment with your soul, in alignment with your purpose, what you came here to do, what you came here to learn, then your body will give you signals often it can be some kind of pain discomfort in the body it can be any kind of health issues so we need to start listening we need to start asking ourselves what these issues mean and I'm gonna talk about this probably most possibly uh, in in future episodes as well. But when you when you get out of the head, when I, when you get out of the mind and connect to your body, connect to your heart, connect to your intuition, then you can actually start hearing the responses. Start getting the answers why why you are experiencing what you are experiencing what what it means what is your body telling you what is your soul telling you and it might be helpful for you if I tell you a little bit about my own healing story so like I mentioned before 
I've I've had eczema ever since ever since I was a baby and I was actually already born with it. And most of my life I had no idea what's causing my eczema. I was told that you can't heal your eczema, it's hereditary, you know, it's just what my mom had and my grandmother and it's just you have to deal with it. Doctors will give you some kind of steroid cream or something similar to to cover up the symptoms, to make you feel better physically, but you won't ever know why the eczema came. Why? What is what is your body telling telling you? What is your soul telling you? And so most of my life. I was living unconsciously until about my early 30s when when I was living in New Zealand and I was I was living there for quite a while and then I decided I needed to I needed to go back to go back to uni because I wasn't doing work that was very fulfilling for me I actually I had a university degree from from Czech Republic where I'm originally from and and where I'm living again these days and for multiple reasons <laughs> including that I wanted to get away from from the Czech Republic, from my family, from my very dominant and alcoholic father that I had a really complicated relationship with. And another reason was that I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. I didn't know what my purpose was. I I studied uh, Czech and German language and literature at uni. I didn't enjoy it at all, but I just didn't know what else to do. So right after uni finished, I went to New Zealand, which is a completely different story which I might tell you another time how I was called to go to New Zealand and I tr- truly believe that it was my inner voice my intuition telling me I should go there but after a few years I I was happily living there I felt free I felt amazing but uh I was just working there as a waitress or later as a cafe manager, but that wasn't fulfilling for me. So after a few years, I decided to go back to uni, which even a few years prior to that, it would be would have been uh, impossible for me because I the first time I went to uni, I, I, like I said, I hated it, but I felt there is more to life you know there is there i need to do something more purposeful i wanted to help people but i still didn't know what i wanted to do and somebody suggested to me or it it popped up somewhere that i should go study international relations and there was something lit up when i when i when I came across international relations, I was like, oh, it would be so amazing because I'm I'm living here as a foreigner, you know, and there's, for some people, it might be quite difficult and I could help immigrants to stay in New Zealand because it's such an amazing country and international relations felt like the right path for me. And so I decided to move to Wellington to the capital of New Zealand and go to uni there and while I was studying I was still working as a waitress I was volunteering for UNICEF on for Red Cross working with refugees raising money for for UNICEF and and so on and so I was doing a lot all at once, you know, I was studying, I was working, I was volunteering, I had no free time and it was all too much. And 
my eczema and I went through a really bad breakup as, as well during the time. And so my eczema flared up like crazy. And there was the first time in, I, in my life I thought that there should be another reason, another solution, you know, to to the issue. I didn't want to just keep using steroid creams, which I had been using my whole life so ever since I was little. And so I started seeking for alternative solutions. And that might have been due to the fact that I had been practicing yoga for a few years by then. And I started meditating and I came across Louise, hey, you can heal your life. And all these other things kept coming into my life, which looking back at it now, I, I don't believe there's, there's any... I don't believe in in chance, you know. There's no it, nothing happens by chance. You you attract things into your life. There things come into your life for a reason always. And I started learning more about nutrition, and I started exploring different avenues, including different different alternative therapies. And my eczema started improving and I was having many other health issues at the time. But to cut the long story short, I ended up getting better. I felt great. I was taking care of myself. And until I wasn't again, I started slipping again. Once I got better, you know, I I would go back to my old ways and I would party a lot and drink and not rest enough. And I ended up <laughs> hitting my head and getting a concussion and that brought me, I had to stand bed for two months. I had no one to look after me. And I was really, it was really scary because I was, I had no energy. I was getting these headaches. Somebody told me at the hospital that I could have died because I didn't go to the doctor straight away. And they said if there was internal bleeding in my, in my skull, you know, if there was bleeding on my brain that I could have died and this realization especially because I was living alone and I had no one to look after myself I started getting experiencing anxiety and and panic attacks and at the time I discovered EFT which I will talk more about in the future as well, EFT is, is a technique. I'm actually today I'm trained as a as an EFT therapist. EFT is an amazing method which combines the knowledge from Chinese medicine, from acupuncture and acupressure, and it helps you to neutralize emotional trauma, stressful response in your body. It calms your nervous system. It combines Chinese medicine with modern psychology and it neutralizes and unblocks the blocks, emotional, energetic blocks in your body, in your subconscious, in your emotional body. And it helps you heal from all kinds of mental, physical, emotional issues, even from pain in your body I had these I had these headaches I had no energy like I said I had anxiety and, and panic attacks and it helped me so much at the time and not long after that maybe I should mention mention as well that I do believe that I had my head for a reason you know because my body I just wasn't listening to all the other issues I was experiencing and then the universe literally had to knock me down and 
let me stay in bed for two months. So I would have to think about how I'm living my life, what I'm doing and where I'm going. And after, after I got better again, after I healed from the concussion and from the trauma, not long after that, I, like I said, I was, I was getting into all of these uh, self-development books, like I mentioned Louise Hay before, which, which is an amazing book. If you haven't read, you can heal your life. I highly recommend. And so I was learning about self-love, which I struggled with my whole life. I was learning about forgiveness and I had such a strong feeling that I needed to forgive my father who I had such a difficult relationship with my whole life and and I did forgive him I managed to forgive him after all these years and not long after I forgave him, I received a phone call from my grandfather that my father was in hospital and he told me that my father was, was dying and that he doesn't have much time left. And I managed to fly back within a couple of days back to Europe, back to back to the Czech Republic and say goodbye to my father and I'm so grateful for for all of this. I'm so grateful that I listened and that I forgave him because even a few months before that if I don't even know if I would have gone back, you know, and if I would say goodbye, but because it's such a long way, I was living on the other side of the world, but it was, it was so profound and he, he passed away. And after that, I decided to, to move back home, which hasn't been, it wasn't an easy, easy decision, but at the same time, I, I knew or I know, I definitely know today that I was just as much as I love New Zealand and how beautiful it is. And I have many beautiful friends there. I was running away, you know, from my past, from my family, from from myself pretty much. And you can't run from yourself really because ever since I've been back, which is almost seven years now, my life has been... It hasn't, it definitely hasn't been easy, but I've been healing, you know. I, I had to go back to heal myself. I had to go back to go through my past, not always willingly, but like I mentioned in the beginning, your, your body and your soul are always guiding you and not long after I came back in in the beginning it was fine I was happy to be back I was happy to to be back with my family and I actually managed to make peace not only with my father but with my grandparents as well and at first, I, I got a job which was just like a transition job. And after that, I, after about a year and a bit, I got a job offer from, from a company, let's say, that was, it sounded like a dream. It sounded like a dream job for me because, 
like I said, in New Zealand, I was just waitressing and I felt like it's not what I'm supposed to do. And then I got this amazing job. It was, it was quite, it was a management position. And I, fi I felt like I finally, I'm finally being appreciated. You know, I, I put so much hard work in. I had two master's degrees by then and I was like, okay, this is so amazing. And even though it, looking back at it now, it wasn't my dream job at all because it was an admin position. But I thought, you know, the salary is great and I will be pretty much my own boss, which wasn't true as well. I still had bosses above me and I had to do what I had to do but I had a team and it sounded amazing but the job as it was such an amazing experience and experience definitely but the job was so stressful and I was under so much pressure to do so many different things I had I had a big responsibility and it was just too much for me and after not even a year being there I started again experiencing all these health issues and my eczema flared up again. Maybe it was the worst flare up I had my whole life or ever since I was a child. It spread all over my body. I was sick all the time. I was so stressed. Like at work, I pretended everything is fine. I was being, you know, brave and calm and I... I was pretending I can do it all and I I was I was I managed to do it all without any help pretty much and but then I would have a breakdown every night at home I would break have a breakdown cry and I was miserable and I thought this is just you know this is just the beginning it will get better but I couldn't even take any time off I had to be there, I had to go back every day and my health was getting worse and worse and worse. At first it was just like, you know, colds and sinus infections and the eczema flare-up, but because I wasn't I wasn't dealing with it. I went to the doctors, but I couldn't even take sick leave because I had no one to cover for me and there was so much to do and because I wasn't looking after myself my body started getting worse and worse and I started getting all these digestive issues I got I had inflammation in my body I was having really bad gut issues and I developed more than a hundred food intolerances and sensitivities and my thyroid started playing up. I developed hypothyroidism and it was just getting worse and worse. And when I went to the doctors, they would just give me some medication. They said, we can't do anything about it. That's just how it is. So I had I was given medication for my for my gut issues, for my stomach, for my thyroid. I was given creams for the eczema, but I I just didn't wanna I didn't wanna take it. I didn't wanna cover up the symptoms because I I probably knew better by then. But still, at at the same time, it took me a while to figure out what to do and before I found the right help and started listening to my body and uncovering the underlying causes and issues and reasons and before I started healing and 
at first, you know, I started reading all these books and of course I was Googling everything and at first what I read everywhere, what I heard everywhere is that I need to heal my gut, I need to change my diet, I need to, you know, remove everything that is that is causing the gut imbalance, that's causing the inflammation. So I tried within the next year or two, I tried so many different diets, including at first because I was, you know, I was passionate yogi at the time. And I still I still love yoga, but at the time I was there was it was maybe still keeping me keeping me alive because I still had my yoga practice and I thought, you know, as a yogi a sister to yoga is Ayurveda. So I I was looking for I looked up an Ayurvedic practitioner or an Ayurvedic doctor and she prescribed a diet and some herbs and things I should and shouldn't do. So I was on the Ayurvedic diet for a while. That wasn't helping. And then I read about all these, all this advice about becoming, how it can be beneficial when you're ha having chronic health issues to when you go on a vegan diet. So... I went on a vegan diet and I was vegan for about a year and it just got worse. It was just getting worse and worse and worse and I couldn't eat almost anything. Then I discovered a functional nutrition practitioner and she advised I go at first on paleo and then on the autoimmune protocol. And at, at the time I was already doing my own research as well and I decided to to train as a as a health coach and as a nutritionist because I wanted to learn everything how I can help myself and so I was I was studying and I was working with this with this functional nutrition practitioner And it still wasn't helping. I wasn't getting better and I was reacting to more and more food, you know, and I was miserable. And on top of everything, I would start all uh, these old thoughts started coming back. I didn't mention that in, that in my 20s I suffered from depression and and I had an eating disorder in my early 20s which I don't want to go into much detail right now I might I might come back to that at some later point maybe in a different episode but you know all these because I was on such a strict diet I was on the autoimmune protocol which is one of the strictest diets out there and because I, it was so restrictive and I had to eliminate eliminate more and more foods because I, I was reacting to almost everything. My, my body was just screaming at me. And at the same time, because I was depriving myself and restricting the foods I was eating so much, these old thoughts started popping up, you know, from, from when I, when I was bulimic and I was like, okay, no, I don't want to go back there. I can't do this. And I decided that I needed to choose a different path. And I remembered that back when I was suffering, when after the concussion, when I was suffering from anxiety and and panic attacks, I EFT was was the thing that helped me so much, and so I I was looking for for an EFT therapist locally, and I discovered there was a there was a training to become an EFT therapist. I was like, okay, um. 
I'm going to learn it. I'm going to, you know, I wanted to learn it for myself. But at the same time, I knew that already that after a few years in the job that wasn't fulfilling and that was making me so stressed and so sick that maybe there is a different path for me. And although the main reason why I wanted to do the the training, uh, the EFT training was to uh, do it for myself and for my health at the same time, I thought, you know, maybe that could be that could be a path for me because I always wanted to help people. And I thought if it could help me, maybe I could I could help others as well. And already at the time I started sharing about I created a little blog and I started sharing about my experiences and about the progress I was making with with a small audience. And yeah, so I started I started doing the training and my health issues started improving because we were part of the training. We were practicing with with other people who were in the training with my classmates and we would practice and I would also I would also go to EFT therapy to my teacher and she would help me as well and my health issues started slowly improving you know and I want to I want to like I mentioned before that with EFT you you look for underlying causes in your of of any kind of issues you have it, it it can help you with mental health issues but with physical issues as well and emotional because it's working on your subconscious and no matter what kind of health issues you are experiencing even if it's physical health issues you know there's always underlying causes in your subconscious and on on the energetic level because we are all energetic beings and this is how Chinese medicine works that is how acupuncture and acupressure works and EFT is based on the same premise that we we are energetic beings and we have these energetic channels in our bodies there's you know which are called meridians and you probably know from acupuncture acupressure that you that there's points on your body different points on your on your body which either in acupuncture you stick needles in or in acupressure you you just put pressure on these points and these points are the end points of these energy channels of these meridians in your body and what it does is an EFT it, it works the same you just tap on the on the acupressure points to to unblock whatever whatever you are struggling with and how it works is that you need to look for underlying causes by feeling into the symptoms you are experiencing if it's pain or if it's that your eczema is itchy that you having some digestive issues whatever whatever you're experiencing in the body it's always connected to your emotions and it's always connecting to, connected to some thoughts in your subconscious so when we're working in EFT when we're working with clients is that we're looking for for events for past traumatic events stressful events for for limiting beliefs in their subconscious but it's most of the time is related to a specific event in your life or more events it can be repetitive there can be more similar experiences but we look for these experiences how, how and take you back there and look for the feelings in your body how you when you go back there how you feel what kind of 
emotion you feel when you when you think about it and for me it was all the stress at work that was causing my health issues and when I slowly started uncovering all these blocks because all these experiences and these traumas and the stress can well can and do create blocks in in your energetic body so I mentioned you have these energetic channels, these meridians in your body, and they can become blocked by these traumatic events or stressful events or by long-term subconscious beliefs, which is a belief is pretty much a thought you keep thinking over and over again, especially negative thoughts. And they can create these blocks and by coming back to these events and uncovering the um, the blocked emotions and the thoughts that are related to the, the negative beliefs or limiting beliefs and by tapping on the under meridian points at the same time we are unblocking the issues on all levels on the subconscious level on the energetic level on the emotional level and on the physical level as well so I'm not saying you can you can do a few rounds of tapping and you will be you will be healed, but there's usually more to it than just one block. There's usually multiple layers, so you have to peel the onion, you have to shed the layers and keep uncovering what's underneath it all. And especially with chronic health issues, there's always more than one underlying cause. There's more than one event, more than one block. And we all have many, no matter if if you have physical or mental health issues, you do have blocks in your body that have been created throughout your life. And That's what I mentioned in the beginning when you, because all of us create, you know, when, when we are growing up, we, we are taking over beliefs from our parents. We, especially in the first seven years of our lives, but later on as well, we take on the beliefs, the limiting beliefs, negative thoughts, there's negative experiences that create trauma in the body there's stressful experiences that might be traumatic events like like I said for example my father passed away or there can be a bad breakup it can be something some violence that you know there can be so many different things and all of these things create blocks in your body and there's different names for these blocks in in different traditions i'm just gonna call them blocks for, for now but there's different ways how to release these blocks but some of the favorite ways for me is like i said eft which i find is one of the most effective techniques and There's other ones I will definitely talk about in the future as well. But like I said, I managed to heal from all the health issues I was experiencing. My digestion improved. I managed to get rid of all the food sensitivities I was experiencing. I stopped reacting to even to gluten, which... Prior to that, when I was really sick, I I couldn't even touch gluten, no, no, you know, no matter eat it. But there were like so many other things I was reacting to. But after after healing through through EFT and after that, I I started studying quantum healing as well, which is. A form of energetic healing and the combination of EFT and quantum healing helped me to heal all of my health issues and it took me a while to to leave the stressful job because it was so scary you know to 
to get into the unknown and put myself out there and start helping other women. And I was, I slowly started practicing on the side as a side hustle while I was still working at the office job. And over time, it took me another two years before I actually left, but I knew that my body just and my soul, they didn't want me to stay there because there were times I would go on holiday and my eczema would completely clear up and then I would come back or even after a weekend I would come back and my eczema would flare up again and that kept happening. All the other health issues were gone but because eczema was such a or has been such a big issue in my life ever since I was ever, ever since I was little and I know now after all these years of, of healing and going deeper and deeper that there there might be deeper issues than than just stress and and trauma from this lifetime because I was actually already born with it and I've have been finding out that there might be ancestral trauma from you know from my ancestors from my mom and and so on maybe even some trauma from past lives and I'm still I'm still working through that but what I wanted to say is that you know after after I finally managed to to say goodbye to the to the job that was making me so stressful and so stressed and sick I decided to leave the job and launch my business full time which is which has been about a year and a half ago now and like I said by the time I was working with clients for about two or two years on the site and helping other women to heal from their health issues as well and I kept you know looking for new ways and it has been my my intuition has been guiding me to just before I, I left the job I I discovered Akashic Records which which is another way of healing of connecting to yourself and I started discovering I started going deeper and discovering my purpose and I started connecting to my soul and to myself more and more and this whole new world opened to me and after I got into the Akashic Records or around the same time I had a spiritual awakening I I had a Kundalini awakening and which wasn't due to the Akashic Records I just want to <laughs> make that clear uh, that happened during during a different different event but uh, not long after that I I started learning about inner voice and I wanted to I wanted to go even deeper and connect to myself on a deeper level because I discovered that even after I left the stressful job, I I realized that it wasn't just the job making me stressed and sick. It was actually me. I was the one getting stressed. It's never, it's never the, or not only the outside circumstances, but it's always, you know, what's inside of you and your mind is so powerful and when you're living your life or most of most of us are when you're living your life in your mind most of the time then then you just are living from from your past experiences how i mentioned in the beginning because they get imprinted into your brain and you you live from these limiting beliefs in your brain and from learned experiences from the past and so I was even though there wasn't 
the stressful job anymore. Now I had a full-time business and I was still running the same programs, you know, that, that I was running while I was still working at the stressful job. So it wasn't just the job making me stressed because all of a sudden I had a full-time business. It wasn't a hobby anymore. And I wanted to do it all. And everyone tells you, you need to hustle. You need to do everything. You need to, you need to have a blog and an email list and be on social media and do it all pretty much, which was so stressful for me. And within, within a few months, and it didn't help definitely that within a few months after I left the job, COVID started as well. So I was trying to, you know, launch the business and help everyone because it was such a stressful time for all my clients, everyone around me. So I was trying to do it all and I burned myself out within three or four months after I left the job. And again, my body was giving me clear signals and I wasn't listening and I just couldn't do it anymore. I I started getting these headaches and I had no energy and I pretty much had to stay in bed for for about a month and I couldn't do anything. And, you know, at the same time, looking back at it now, I it's making so much sense. At the time, I was like, why is this happening? You know, I'm, I'm not as stressed. Oh, I thought I wasn't as stressed anymore. But why is this happening? I want to I wanna do it. This is what I'm meant to do. And now I just can't do anything. But ultimately, my body and my soul, my, my inner voice were telling me to stop to pause and to go within and it's not a coincidence that it was at the beginning of COVID or not long after COVID came here or after COVID started you know the lockdown and everything in 2020 and because I've heard it so many times from my inner voice and from the Akashic Records and from so so many other inner voices and channels that Ultimately, COVID came here for us to slow down and go within because it it made us to, we had to stay at home and, and pause and the whole world pretty much paused. And there's not a coincidence that so many people started realizing that they need to go within because that's, why it came here and at the same time I was I was going through this burnout and I had to I had to stay in bed stay in bed and and at the time I I already knew I already knew Jess Lively I was listening to her podcast but at the time she was launching the inner voice facilitator training, what, what she's been, how she's been working with clients. People started asking her to teach them how to do it, how to talk to their inner voice and how to work with clients as an inner voice facilitator. So she launched the program and I didn't sign up straight away. It wasn't the right timing for me, but I ended up signing for for the second round which which launched September or October of 2020 and I connected to my inner voice so much during that time and this is another path of of healing for me and it's no it's no coincidence and Today I, I combine EFT with, with inner voice and with other methods in in my in my coaching as well. But what I wanted to say, your inner voice is pretty much the extension of your soul. 
And you can not only heal with the help of your inner voice and release blocks from your from your body and from your from your energetic body, from your physical, emotional body, but you can finally, at least for me, I can finally hear the messages more clearly than I have ever before. And I can ask questions, I get answers from my inner voice, you know, from my soul. And it allowed me to go so much deeper and release so much more, so many deeper blocks than I had before through through EFT and quantum healing. And the, these are often the deep, deep uh, blocks that are connected to your identity and to, it might be even, they might be even deeper, that might not even be yours, that might be not, not be connected to our subconscious, it might be connected to, to past lives or anything else. And I will definitely talk more about inner voice in the future as well, but I just wanted to mention it today and bring it back to where I started, that no matter what issues you are experiencing, mental, physical, emotional, it always comes back to the messages from your body, from your soul, from your inner voice. And you just need to start listening. And inner voice is such a powerful tool. No matter what you call it, you can call it inner voice, you can call it your intuition or anything else. There's definitely other names for it as well but it can help you to understand what your body, what your soul is telling you, where is it leading you, because today I do believe so much and it has been guiding me towards empowerment, you know, stepping into my full power and my purpose and sharing more. That's one of the reasons why I started this podcast, because before I used to, you know, write blog posts and that's what I thought my whole life. I always wanted to be a writer when I was younger and I know I can write quite well, but lately it just wasn't flowing or oh, this past year, it just wasn't flowing. And I realized that I'm not even reading other people blog posts anymore but I love to listen to podcasts because you can feel the person's energy and you can relate so much more and I love to listen to podcasts on my walks and when I'm driving and so on and there's such a deeper connection and that's why I also was called to call it the Heart Connection Podcast because I do believe that for me, it can, your inner voice or your intuition can be located anywhere in your body. But for me, it's in the heart space. And I love to speak from, not only speak from the heart, but to connect to the love within, to the energy in your heart, which for me is ultimately your soul. And it can be so beautiful. And I want to share with you all what I'm learning, what I'm going through, how I'm, how I'm helping or trying to help my clients to step into their power, you know, and to start living the life they are meant to live, the healthy, happy and empowered life because we at such an amazing time in history right now. If you are here, it's no coincidence. Your soul has chosen this time. And if you are listening and if you have listened to this whole episode until the end, and this is almost the end, I realize it has been quite long. But if you've listened all the way to here, then it's definitely 
there's no coincidence and you are called to connect to your, your own heart, to your own inner voice, to your, to your own soul and to step into your power because we are awakening this whole what's happening in the world, like I said, with COVID and everything that brought us here to pause, to connect, to go within, to release what's no longer serving us and, you know, to, to raise the vibration of the earth together and to shine the light and raise the consciousness. And it's just beautiful. And it's what I've been realizing lately. It doesn't have to be hard. And it has been hard for me in the past. I have struggled with my health. I have struggled with living you know once once you realize the physical reality it's not the only reality we live in but there is more to it we are we are energetic beings and we are connected to each other to the whole universe and there is a purpose there is you know there's we are the creators of our, of our lives and there is a reason why I came here, why you came here, we came here to learn, to grow, but also to to have fun and to experience this beautiful world and to live a healthy and happy life. And what I want to say with all of this is it doesn't need to be hard. It can just, you can just start with, Tuning in a little bit every day, tune into your heart, take a few deep breaths. And I'm definitely going to talk more about this in the future, in future episodes, how you can do this and how you can connect to your heart, how you can connect to your inner voice. And I will be diving more into different practices and, and techniques and rituals and so on i might be inviting some guests to to speak with in the future as well because there's so many amazing women in the world that are that are working with women and for women and i love to to share and to talk to other women about about all of the all of these things it's so exciting for me and i'm so grateful that you are here with me that you've listened all the way to the end and for today i just want you to tune in maybe place your hands on your heart and just put your attention into your heart and set an intention if you've never connected to your inner voice you can just set an intention that you want to connect to yourself that you want to hear the messages that your inner voice your soul have for you that you want to connect to your highest self to your body and listen to the messages that you want to hear them, that you are ready, because if you are here listening to this, then you're definitely ready to connect, to step into your power and to your perp into your purpose and to start healing and to start living a healthy, happy and fulfilled life so i'm gonna leave you with that just tune in take a few deep breaths and set the intention there maybe stay there for a few breaths see if anything will come through if not that's fine too but just stay stay there connected in the energy of your inner voice, of your beautiful heart. And 
I will talk to you next time. Thank you so much, lovely, for listening and stay connected to your heart. Sending you so much love and beautiful energy and I will talk to you next time. Bye. This episode was brought to you by my Signature Deep Healing Program. The one-on-one -on -one deep healing program is a high-level six-month coaching and intuitive healing program for women with chronic health issues such as eczema, autoimmune disease, digestive or hormonal issues. If you are ready to connect to your true self, to step into your power and to heal from within, this program is for you. You can finally have an understanding of what your body and your soul need to heal on all levels. You will learn proven tools to get you there and you will receive ongoing support from me throughout your healing journey. Together we will uncover and unblock the underlying causes of your health issues so you can start living a healthy, happy, fulfilled and purposeful life. So are you ready to take responsibility for your own health and well-being and to heal from within? Just head over to www.pavlinajroškova.com and schedule a discovery call with me. I'm so excited to hear from you. Music.